Hey everybody, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. So, we've just made our way into the old abandoned grotto belonging to Scrope's uh, favored mistress. And it is now time to go back and tell him the unfortunate news that the ring he was looking for was not there. Uh, he did give us a lead and he might be useful in the future, so we'll at least tell him that we didn't find what he was looking for. And then we'll consider how to use the information we did gather about another location that has the pages to the book that we want. Hello, Scrope. Thanks to you, I was able to enter Apollina's Grotto. The toast was the key. I met a ghost there, Richard Jackdaw, who's agreed to lead me to the pages I've been looking for. Oh, that boy was never good enough for Apollonia. Oh, what of the Black Family Ring? I'm sorry to say that Jackdaw sold it long ago. Sad news indeed. Scrope shall need to think of another way to impress the headmaster. Well, Scrope takes some consolation in knowing that the young Slytherin found what they needed. I did. Thank you again, Scrope. You're a credit to house elves. Okay, he's gone. That was a main quest that we've completed. Okay, got some experience, and now what? All right, now I think we go into uh, our field guide here and check a couple of things. So first of all, let's look at collections. I think we've got some rewards here. Uh, let's see, collections, enemies you've encountered. No, it's challenges that have rewards, not, not collections. Challenges, okay. So under combat, we have defeated five dug bogs, and our reward is gear trait recipe, amphibial protection one. Okay, this is interesting. We haven't seen gear traits yet. Let's claim those. And then we have a new new challenge here to defeat 10 dug bogs. All right, well, that'll happen on its own, I suppose. Uh, anything else? Complete dueling feats, gear appearance reward officer's uniform. We, we've only done two of five here. Okay, so there's challenges. And then quests, we have uh, some completions as well. We can claim these rewards. Appearance, fine. Appearance, okay. We're still working on that one. This is another appearance, and we're still working on that one. All right. And under exploration, we completed a Merlin trial. Oh, I see. So we have to complete two of these to get the increased gear storage. Got it. Okay. Uh, the rest of this is all set. So there's challenges taken care of. Uh, inventory, what's what's lighting up here? Polonia Black's journal. Map with floating candles. A treasure, a hidden treasure map found in a grotto. So yes, uh, some trees, some sort of broken arch near a, near a building and then I guess there's a bridge here and something to do with Lumos and candles. I don't know what to make of this yet. I don't know where that is. What else do we have? We picked up a bunch of ingredients. Okay. Great. And that's that. So then next up we want to look at our quests and figure out what we're doing next. So uh, we can complete this and learn Expelliarmus, which I think we should do. And then Ghost of Our Love. So that map has an appearance reward. I don't think we particularly care about that. The map portrays a forest, bridge, and candles. I put it in my bag for reference. Yeah, if she if she sees it, I guess we can go pick it up. But for now, let's track this and let's head to Professor Hecate. I did learn something else about the map here as well. So if you go to the Hogwarts map, and then you see how we have the marker here. What I've been doing is going into the astronomy wing by going up here, but what you can actually do is click on these flags to get there. So here's the marker. I can then click on the flag to get there. I don't have to move the cursor all the way up. And then we can also see from these black flags uh, that there is a side quest. So if I go here to the library annex, uh, there's nothing here, just the room and some flu flames. But these black ones, they have side quests available. So, Summoner's Court, I don't know what this is, some sort of game, something to do with summoning. Over here we have Venomous Valor, that's an appearance reward, don't care. 
and it's something called the Dedelian Keys. And then over here in the Great Hall, we have three side quests. Uh, the Boathouse outside of Hogwarts Castle. Oh, that is not a, that is a flu flame, sorry. Uh, descending for Sweets. Uh, here we get gold and conjuration spellcraft. So that one we'll want to do. Uh, but first, let's go back to uh, Professor Fig. Not Professor Fig, Professor Hecket. And she's in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. So let's travel there. Okay, so the map's a little bit more easy to use now that I understand that. That flag system was never explained, but I guess once you figure it out, it's sort of... It seems intuitive nice in retrospect. Nice to see you, my young friend. All right, let's learn Expelliarmus. Professor, I wondered, did you attend Hogwarts? I did. I am a proud member of Ravenclaw House. Why do you ask? I was curious as to how Hogwarts has changed over the years. I see. Well, the castle itself, as I'm sure you have surmised, is full of surprises. I dare say more than the staircases change around here. As for the students, well, they seem to get more capable every year. Although, we got up to just as much mischief in my day as you seem to now. I used to look the other way at all sorts of roguery when I was head girl. I can tell you, however, that I did once admonish a certain Phineas Nigella's flag for enjoying a sugar quill during a lecture. I... I hadn't realized that you and Professor Black were, uh, students here together. <laughs> Appearances can be deceiving. You see, I was once wounded by time itself. Hmm. I think she would be fascinated by that more than... That sounds like a powerful magic. Time itself? I never would have imagined such a thing. Ah, well, it was the risk I took with my prior position. You may or may not have heard that I was an unspeakable at the Ministry for years. An unspeakable? What does... Ah! As you might suspect, I cannot speak about what we did. Suffice it to say, the job was not without its hazards. Now, I hope I've satisfied your curiosity for the moment. You have. Thank you for speaking with me, Professor. Keep up with your wand work. One must always be prepared for mischief, both inside and outside of the castle. Okay. Offend, attend defense against the dark arts class during the day. I see. So we cannot uh, complete this quest until morning has come. So that being said, let's advance time to the morning. I don't think we actually have to go back to our room. So far, there's not been anything very interesting there. So let's wait for the next day. And now it should be morning, I suppose. It looks like it's still nighttime. I'm not sure. Wait here to advance time from night to from day to night or or night to day. How do I tell if it's currently day or night? I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. Jackdaw's rest. I need to learn the disarming charm first. Is it is it daytime now? No, it seems it seems to still be night. I suppose I always said that travel broadens the mind. I suppose I'll try that again. Okay, now it looks like it's morning. Okay, that's good. Perhaps I did it in the wrong place inside the classroom or whatever. There we go.
Interesting. So that was an unscripted class where there's no particular thing that happens. You just kind of get a like a little montage of the class happening during the day. I hope you were able to take care of everything I had asked you to do. Professor, I completed all of your most recent assignments. Well done. Then you're ready to learn Expelliarmus. Pay close attention. The disarming charm may often be all you need to defeat the most powerful dark witches and wizards you might encounter. Spellcasting requires a focused mind and a steady wand. Okay, A-A-A-X-A. -A -A Doesn't look too hard. Good work. The dummy is here if you wish to stay in practice. Okay. Let's assign that. Expelliarmus! You seem to have the right end of the stick, but keep practicing. Expelliarmus may save your life one day. Expelliarmus disarms wands, and different enemies may react in different ways. Fair enough. All right, so that takes care of that. Now, why is there a little... Why is there a little... Uh, treasure box on the on the mini-map there? Revelia. Am I missing something? Is it below us, perhaps? Oh, here's Zenobia looking for her gobstones. Ah, there we go. Okay, hold on. It's one of these eye chests. I see it over there. So let's go ahead and throw on... Uh, now, let's see. There was one other thing. Uh, somewhere in the, in the controls, I thought I saw a way to get different spell sets. Let's see. Um, spell menu, quest info, tool wheel. Select spell set, right trigger plus, yeah, plus uh, D-pad, okay. So, if I hold the right trigger, so it's doing something. Let's see, if I put, what is this one, Reparo, uh, Disillusionment. Let's throw this on instead of Lumos, okay. Now if I, no. Perhaps this is something I need to unlock. I can hear it making a noise. Right trigger plus D-pad, but perhaps I don't, I don't have the, uh, the ability to use spell set yet. So let's go ahead and hide ourselves, and let's go open this chest, see what's inside. 500 gold, very nice. Okay, but this is not the one that was showing up on the mini-map. It was over here, perhaps. Ah, hold on. This looks like perhaps a door? There was definitely something right ahead of us. Now, we saw it on the mini-map up in the classroom. So I'll double check. Yeah, see, it's right here on the mini-map. But I don't see it above us, so it must be below us. So what is that, what is that little wardrobe or shifferobe thing over here? Rebellion. Hmm. It seems to indicate that there's a time, perhaps, when this maybe maybe this this opens when a certain time is is set. Although just looking at it, I'm not sure I can figure it out. Hmm. Very interesting. Let's. Okay. So if I want to, I need to get quick at doing this, sw swapping back and forth. Until I get the spell Lumos. sets unlocked. Lumos does nothing. Revelio does nothing. Okay, so I don't know what that is. Maybe we'll figure that out eventually. Uh, so now that we know Expelliarmus, we can do our main quest. But perhaps first we should take a look at that side quest. There was an interesting one. Uh, let's go to the map. And let's look for the one that had the rewards. 
I think it was over in the Grand Hall. The Great Hall, yes. So over here, descending for sweets. Gareth Weasley wants to speak with me. Was that the same guy that we helped get in trouble in potions class, perhaps? I'm not sure. I think, so we need to go manually. We need to walk there for this one because we don't have a flu flame over there. We haven't actually been to the Great Hall. So let's go. I do think that as we get further into the... What is that, a loading icon? What's going on there? Yes, a, a loading icon, okay. I do think as we get further into the game and learn more about all of its systems, some of the fumbling that I'm doing will hopefully become less less frequent. And we haven't been here at all, so we should take a quick look around. Revelio. Uh, something responded. We've got little plants over here. Let's see. I don't know where whatever it is is, so we'll just keep going. Here we are in the Great Hall. Ah, I think it was a flu flame that responded, so that would be good to pick up. Perhaps we should do that. Let's grab this one. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. And then let's follow our little friend here and head up to the side quest. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Where's it going? It's going down. Down and around. Okay. Wait, now it's going this way. Is where is the person we're supposed to speak to? Or did I did I get turned around? Perhaps. No, this is leading out. Wait, am I going the right way? Where am I? It's leading me towards that. Yes, okay. Didn't I just come in this set of doors, or did I come in a different set of doors? Ah, no, that, that must have been a different set of doors. Okay. So this is a big courtyard. Lots of students. What is this? Some sort of puzzle? Uh, let's... Let's light it. Incendio. Hmm. I don't know what to make of those symbols. The triangle with the circle and another triangle there. Uh, was there one more brazier over here? Yes. All right. Let's light this one. Accio. Incendio. Okay. Is there something I'm missing that on the base or... Oh, I see. There's one, two, three, four there. Okay. Uh, and here's the solution. So one is the uh, triangle with the inward facing lines. That's this one. This should be set to one. Okay. And then what do we have here? Two circles and a diamond. Two circles is two. The diamond is four. Oh, there we go. Solve Hogwarts secrets. Oh, and this leads down. Very interesting. Do I just drop down? Ooh. Now, was this a shortcut or is there something else here? No, this is like a, uh, a causeway down underneath the bridge. Very interesting. Revelia. Treasure chest. Okay, I'll take that. Collection updated feline plates. Oh, there's a little rat guy. Oh, and a big treasure chest. Ooh. A dapper mauve ensemble. That's a, a, an upgrade for us uh, in terms of gear. Very cool little puzzle. Just happened to notice it on the way. Glad that I did. Oh, wait, was there something else here? Another column, teal and brown, wand handle. All right. Okay. Well, that was pretty fun. 
quick little puzzle to solve on our way to meet Gareth Weasley. Uh, let's equip our new uh, gear upgrade real quick. And let's see, where was that? That was outfit. So we're currently wearing what? We're wearing the Rose Riding Attire. This has a trait slot level 3, so does this one, and much more defense. Let's equip that. Okay. Uh, hopefully soon we can find out about how the... Um, how the trait slots work. But I'm assuming there will be an in-game tutorial. Now let's get a move on. Oh, here's another flu flame. What are you up to now? And uh, let's see if we can meet this guy. What is it that you want? You're going to give us a reward, so we want to meet you. Hmm. Revelio. We got something chimed. That's this. Oh, and there's a chest over there. Oh, but it's behind a locked door. Okay. Lumos. And there's an unlocking charm, but we don't know it. And then we've seen these before as well. There's like a little glowing leaf, it looks like, at the bottom of the pedestal here. I don't think incendios Incendio. really do here. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't do the job. So there's some other spell that we need to use on these. Hey, it's me, Gareth. Oh, here we go. Do you have a moment? Uh, do we kind of tease him a little bit for screwing up? I think we do. We're a bad girl. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Hmm. Yeah, we don't care if a teacher is, is upset with us a little bit. Um, for the most part, we're trying to make them think we're a good girl, even though we're not. But a little bit of, a little bit of mischief, a little bit of a reprimand is not a big deal for someone like us. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. Okay, so now we talk to him again for the side quest, or...? Yeah, okay. Were you calling me, Gareth? I was. After you helped me with that fupa feather and potions, I reckoned you might be just the person I need. You see... I have an idea for a fizzing, Wisby-inspired beverage, but I'm missing a key ingredient. Uh, let's see. How is this going to explode in your face? You and your concoctions. I don't know how you come up with these things. It's a gift, truly. So, I suspect the key ingredient in fizzing Wisbys is dried billywig stings. I heard there's a store of them in Honeyduke's cellar. I'd get them myself, but my Aunt Matilda has her eye on me. Thinks I need to focus on potions class for a while, not for my own bruise. I was hoping you could follow a secret passage to Honeyduke Cellar and grab a few dried billywig stings for me. Ooh, petty theft? Of course. You never know when you might need a quick means of escape from the castle. Brilliant, thank you. But you should know that it's not exactly quick. It's the secret bit that's helpful. The passage is hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch in the third floor corridor. Just tap it with your wand and say, Descendium. Uh, we're not going to say this. It's obviously stealing. Uh, and yeah. Why, why pay for something when you can just take it? I'll see what I can do, Gareth. Fair enough. You shall be the first one to taste my newest brew if you can be of help. Perhaps I can convince a meat to help me with my potions homework. Get my aunt to loosen her reins a bit. Okay. So, now we need I'll to need find... I need to get those dried billywig stings for Gareth if he's to finish his latest concoction. We need to find the statue of the one-eyed one witch. one-eyed witch statue shouldn't be too hard to find. 
He did give us basic directions here. He told us it was on the third floor corridor. Oh, wow, look at this. This is pretty neat. Uh, so it's around here somewhere. We're at the Grand Staircase. Oh, hello. Where were... Oh, I missed you. So, we need a statue of a one-eyed witch. Do we just kind of look around until we find it? Hold on, I did see something here. This oh, here she is. looks like the right statue. Now, what was the password? Honeyduke's Passageway. Hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. It can only be accessed using a particular charm. So it was Descendio, right? Descendium. Very nice. Okay. Goodness. Who knew this was all down here? Now, this strikes me as a place that we are likely to encounter some kind of combat here. So we have we have our combat set equipped. We've got Lumos, we've got Accio, Leviosa, uh, and Incendio. We've got five potions. I think we're good to go. A lift. Must be how I get down. Looks broken, though. All right, so we probably need Reparo here. Uh, let's go and equip that briefly. Reparo. There we go. Reparo. Gotta love useful magic. Okay. That seems to have done the trick. This castle will never cease to surprise me. Yeah, lots of lots of secrets at Hogwarts. Have to agree with her there. Revelia. Okay, we've got some ingredients here. We've already collected some of this pork lump juice, but I suppose it couldn't hurt to grab some more. Oh, can't hit the rat. Too bad. I wonder who built this passage and why. Ah, here we go. All right, so there's going to be some spiders, I think, to fight. I think that's what that signifies. And it looks like we have to drop down. Ugh. Something's making a noise there. What are you? A little frog? A little frog guy? Revelio. Okay, well the frogs do not appear to be enemies. Uh, let's burn this away. Incendio. Can we? Yes, we can. We can indeed. Very nice. Like that. Probably just alerted somebody to our presence. Now what is this? Revelio. Is this a floating I'm platform? Trapped. How am I supposed to get out of here? Now this has that leaf symbol on it. That's interesting. All right, we'll go the other way. We can use that to stand on. Oh no, it's not that type of thing. A steel blue robe. That's a gear upgrade. Let's equip that immediately. Uh, robes. So we can go from 15 to 25. Now, this one does have a trait slot, uh, which is why it's blue, superb, rather than green, well-appointed. But we don't have traits to use, so we might as well equip the higher uh, the higher defense here. And let's fix our appearance. Was it this one? Oh, that's new. Legendary cape. The dark arts robe. No, that, that one's the two traditional school robe. Which What's the one we've been wearing? The Dark Arts Cloak? Yeah, that one. Okay. That's fine. And can I move this chest now? No, so I can't step on it. Uh, let's burn some more firewebs away. Keep going here. I have to assume sooner or later we're going to have to fight a spider.
Now, when we fought, when we fought the, uh, the dug bogs or the bog dugs, whatever they're called, we could not lift them with Levioso and we could not pull them with Accio. So they may not be quite as easy to deal with as uh, mortals. Wait a minute. Have we just come right back to where we started? This is the lift again. What just happened? It must circle around the way we went. So is there perhaps a spell that we don't know that we need to do this side quest? Or maybe we can, can we dive? Can we go under here? No. This is something. It's got that it's got that glimmering light. Levioso. Ah, Levioso. Okay. That I did not know that that did that. All right. Okay. Oh, you know what? Levioso does have that that feather symbol. That's a feather, not a leaf. I suppose. Well, okay, you learn something new every day. <laughs> Okay, so... I'm going to have to get past this. Uh, I do now understand what we can do with some of those, uh, those statues back in the castle. Let me open. Okay, that got us across that. And then, let's see, what do we do here? Reparo? Reparo. And then, Leviosa? Don't fall off, please. Thank you. Okay, that was well done. Incendio. More fireweb or cobwebs here. <clears throat> One more to go, and I'll make it across. Will you, though? Repair. That's not repairable. All right, but that should be. Levioso. Something is getting in the way of that platform. Accio. Yeah, something's getting in the way. Levioso. Perhaps I should cast Accio to get that frame out of the way first. Oh. Accio. So I cast that on the frame and not on the... Ah, that... Well, I don't know why Accio would have pushed that rather than pulled it, but all right. Levioso. Aha. Got it. Okay. And with that, we've made it across. I wonder what happens if you fall down there. I guess it's a pretty steep fall. You probably take a bunch of damage and die to try again. But now we should get towards Honeydukes here. I'm still waiting for the, the shoe to drop with the, uh, the spiders that have to be here somewhere. I see frogs again. Revelio. Something over there. Okay. This must be the way out. Now, there's definitely mm, a chest there. I need there. to find a way to open that gate. Well, you need to open the chest first, honey. An emerald bloom scarf, another gear upgrade. We're just getting these left and right today. Uh, let's see. So we're wearing the violet lock scarf. This has more offense, but a lesser trait slot. Okay, I, I'm starting to see the trade-offs here. Let's equip that for now until we get some trait scarf, some trait whatevers. And actually, that color's fine. We'll keep it. Uh, and then we can get back up here. And go check out this, this door, which presumably is another puzzle. Okay, there's like a wizard kind of making a motion. These look like incendio. incendio. All right. Now, why did I have to stand on that? Not sure, but all right, we've made it into... Something smells sweet. Must be close to Honeydukes. Right, we've made it into a cellar of sorts, and we can go up to Honeydukes. Is there anything Rebellion. else in here before we do? Yes, there's some goodies. Search the bag, we got a potion. Collect one gold. And got a tan nightcap. All right, that's a gear upgrade. Let's equip that. And that would be headwear. So we're currently wearing... 15 defense. This is 20, but we're too low of a level. But we can wear this. Let's equip that. <laughs> what a weird look. And then let's uh, let's fix our appearance. All 
All right. Let's go a thievering. A thievening? Let's go steal some stuff. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay, so we're back at Hogsmeade, and now we're in the cellar of Honeymoon. Let's see what we can grab. The One-Eyed Witch passage is there. Okay. Honey Dukes. I can smell the chocolate. Now, where would I find the dried billywig stings for Gareth? An azure mosaic robe. That's a downgrade. Fine. Ooh, that looks like a safe, but we don't appear to be able to interact with it. Maybe it's a stove? Yeah, it's not a safe. It's a stove. All right. Let's come over here. That's Those stairs lead up to the main shop. We probably don't want to go that way. I have the dried billywig stings. Now, back to Gareth. I can only imagine how his new recipe is going to turn out. Okay. So, for this, I don't think we necessarily need to go back. We can just fast travel, right? Go to Hogwarts map. And... He's over here, yeah? So we'll go click on the flag. And then we'll click on this blue flame and travel. All right. Nice little B&E. And now it Off appears to be... another adventure, are we? Now it appears to be nightfall, so I suppose that took the whole day, really. Ah, now you... You have the... Leviosa. There is something there. Okay, cool. And then it disappeared. Alright. Lots of stuff all around the castle. Very interesting. Hello again. Were you able to get to Honey Dukes? Hello, Gareth. I have those dried billywig stings. You got them! Incredible. Yeah, here we go. Let's get paid. Getting them was more work than I expected. I'd like to be paid for my time. Of course. Didn't think it would be that much trouble, but I'm happy to pay for your help. Thank you again. I'll let you know when I brewed my first batch of fizzing whiz beer. There we go. Side quest complete. Complete side and relationship quest. Ooh, he paid us 300. All right, Gareth knows what's up. We will work for him again. Now, we are now on our main quest, I think. Let's see, let's go back to quests. So, Ghost of Our Love, I don't care about. Gobs of Gobstones, I don't care about. Jackdaw's Rest, here we go. The ghost of Richard Jackdaw is going to meet me at the edge of the Forbidden Forest. He said he'll show me how to get to the cave where he died. He's certain the missing pages are still there with his decapitated remains. Let's go. Nighttime is the right time to go meet a ghost. Uh, Jackdaw's Rest. So the closest we can get, what is this? Merlin Trial. Did we already finish this one, or? Apparently we've unlocked this flu flame. I don't remember when we did that. Oh, must have been when we passed through on the way to, that's Hogsmeade, okay. I think we will go take a quick look at this because I would like to do another trial and get the, uh, get the storage benefit. And we're nearing the end of this episode, so we'll save Richard Jackdaw for, for next time. But let's go do this Merlin trial real quick. Puzzles, exploration, side quests, and, uh, and such. That was the, the content the this time. Next time we'll advance the main story. Uh, and maybe I'll kind of adopt that as a sort of a pattern. Are these flowers honking? I suppose they are. Oh, yes, we were told the Forbidden Forest was for named that for a reason. It's forbidden. Uh, so if we check our... Oops. If we check our map... Can I set a waypoint here for this trial? I can. Okay. There it is over there. All right.
Now, we should still have a bunch of mallow sweet left over from the lady who gave it to us, the, uh, the researcher lady. So we should be able to get this started. Maybe we can solve this. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Okay, so here's the mallow sweet. We use that. And then the trial begins, correct? Okay. So there's these things over here. Now what is this? What do I do with this? Do I just break them all? I suppose? I suppose I just break them all. Okay. Is this just an aiming trial? Like, can you can you aim your wand well enough? It's like an easy early trial to practice. Oh, let's grab some lacewing flies. Um, to practice your ability to kind of do a little bit of spell sniping. It would be interesting if it was timed. These Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Oh. Okay. Challenge complete. Complete Merlin trials. So, I suppose that's it. That was not too hard. You just put the Malice Suite down and then figure out what to do. Not much of a puzzle, but I'm assuming they'll get harder. What is this? Oh, that's fun. And then we've got, what? More plants that we can collect, perhaps? Leaping toadstool caps. All right. Well, uh, let's head over to the forest. Oh, someone left a bit of gold. We'll take that. Or as Ziploc would say, I'll have that. Thank you very much. Let's see. So anyway, to finish the thought I was I started earlier, uh, I think maybe I'll adopt that pattern of we'll have one episode where we advance the main story and one episode where we kind of do a bit of exploration, maybe some side quests and the like. Oh, we've got a duelist here. Hello. Someone messing about. Is that the best you production? Oops, that was late. Oh, I think I got hit there. Oh, I have Reparo on instead of, uh... Hold on. Come on, take your shot. There it is. All right, who else is here? We've got a wolf and a magus. There we go. M much better. Oh. Oh, we actually had to, uh... Okay, had to break her shield. I didn't realize that, um... That she would still... That she would come back after we broke her animal form. I didn't see that, uh, happening. Is that all of them? Okay, little fight. Little bit of a fight with, uh, some poachers, looks like. One gold. Anyway. Not too bad. I'm getting a hang of the combat system. I got hit a couple of times, but eventually kind of caught on. Uh, also, I uh, I think I cast Reparo at one point during that fight. I was trying to cast uh, Protego, but I don't think it was available because I wasn't targeted or something, or I missed the timing, and so it cast Reparo instead. Uh, but anyway, to finish up, finally, that thought. We'll do one episode of main story and one episode of side quests, and that will be the pattern. So we'll, we'll advance this uh, quest with Richard D Jackdaw next time. Uh, but until, until then, I'm going to take a break, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the series. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, where we will advance the story and uh, deal with this guy's decapitated body. See you then. Take care.